Hey guys! So today I'm going to be working on a new project. I'm looking to update my Sailor Uranus slash uh, Haruka Tenno cosplay. Um, recently I've been looking at my cosplay pictures and I realized that I think my wig was a little bit too bright, a little bit too yellow compared to usually she's portrayed with having a very more natural blonde um, colored hair. So I purchased a brand new wig. This is a Lulu, an ash blonde from Art of Wigs Canada. So it's actually the same exact style that I was using before, except instead of being yellow blonde, it's the light blonde color, which is a very, very yellow color in Art of Wigs. I got this very nice, realistic looking color. So this is a look of how the wig looks on my head as opposed to on the mannequin head, unstyled. So as you can see, the bangs are very floppy. It's down in my face. And not quite that same shape that the figurines have, for example. So I need to put a little bit of volume into this and play around with the styling a little bit. So something that I particularly like about the Lulu style, which is the name of this um, shape of wig from Arda, is the where the part sits. It's slightly to the side as opposed to right down the middle, which is actually how Haruka's hair kind of looks. So look at this figurine. Her hair is not split right down the center, it's off the side a little bit. Actually, when you put these two together, I have to say the hair color is pretty similar. So I think I've got a much better match this time around compared to when my wig was very, very yellow with the light blonde color. And I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more accurate this time. Last time I just kind of fluffed up the bangs a little bit and then just kind of left it as it is for the most part. I think this time I'm gonna put more volume, kind of like you see here on her hair. It's nice having these physical figurines because I can get a whole 180. Now one reason I like the Lulu a lot is she's got this layer here in the back, just like the character does. So um, it's easier to kind of play with all this, bring the volume up here, just like she does, compared to some of the other styles don't have as much of this at the bottom. That's one reason I like this one quite a lot. So as you can see right now, it kind of looks like I'm just making an absolute mess of the wig, um, just with a bunch of knots. But this is actually going to be what keeps all that volume up there. I have to clean it up afterwards. So first, I'm just going to go all the way around the wig, kind of do that, and then start shaping it based off the teasing. Right, so now she is brilliantly fluffed and puffy and teased. So here's the full 180 look at it. All this down here has been left flatter to add, as, act as that bottom layer. The rest is all very, very puffed and spiked and teased, of course. That's how I did it. Um, you might be thinking that right now it looks more like Katsuke Bakugo from My Hero Academia than it would compared to Haruka, but that's because now I have to go in and tame it all down. So I'm going to start brushing it downwards and starting to shape things a little bit. Starting to look a little bit more like the shape that she has going on over here. Sort of. <laughs> but uh, we're getting there. It's starting to look more like a normal hairstyle, not just from the fluffing. What I'm really proud about so far is that this is actually working out quite nicely. This little like ridge look here. Once I hairspray that down, it looks a lot nicer, but it has that 
little ridge here, and I don't know what to call it, I've got no hair terms, but she's definitely got it on the figure, so. And done um, most of her portrayals of her artwork in the anime. So I'm just gonna keep playing around with the hair here a little more, and try to get a little bit more to look like the character, but I think it's going pretty well so far. I just need to tame this down a little. Alright, so my phone died a little bit while I was trying to film this, so I'm having to um, start from another spot. So since then, I got a little bit more of the styling on this particular bang over here done, and a little bit more of the shaping down here. I'm actually pretty happy with how that side profile is looking right now. So I'm almost ready to give it a spray. I just need to fix this over here because it's a little floppier than I want it to be. I want it to have a more dynamic look to it than this, so... So anytime I do cosplay wig styling, I always use Got To Be Glued. It is amazing for keeping in all sorts of styles and it's really easy to reshape. And I always use my hair dryer with it. This is actually a hair dryer meant for curled hair, so I just took the top off. It has cold the hot settings, but the nice thing about Arda wigs is that you can use really, really hot settings and it will not damage the wig. So if you're ever using um, any kind kind of uh, hot products or anything that's hot on a wig, make sure it's one that can handle it because some might just melt the second you use anything on them. But luckily for us, this one is not like that. So essentially what I'm doing with the hair dryer is I'm setting it to really um, high heat but with decently low um, pressure so I'm not moving the wig around too much but this heat is helping set the hairspray in place, keeping it nice and stiff. What I'm doing with my fingers is I'm taking them and I'm kind of um, flipping it like this so there's a little bit of a curl happening in some of the areas over here. Make it have that little windswept look because, well let's face it, Haruka, her abilities are like wind sky abilities. So having a little bit of a wind tousled look, kind of like what she's got going on with her bangs here. It's kind of what we're going for here. Her hair would not be perfect and in place constantly because she's the tomboyish one. So we're not going to try to get make pretend that it's going to be perfectly set in place. With that, I think my Haruka wig here is finished. I'm pretty pleased with how this one was styled out compared to my other one, and what I really liked about this was that it was a style that I was able to do without having to cut the wig. The wig was already the perfect layers and lengths for me to do this. First time around, I didn't tease it enough when I did my first wig with the light blonde variation of the Lulu. So I actually had to cut some things, so it's a little uneven, but this one is really nice because it will get all these little layers and such with just putting some teasing and volume into it. All right, so I decided to do a little try on and I decided that there was a few things I did not like about the wig. So it turns out I am gonna have to cut some pieces of it anyway because part of it was just the bangs. I was pretty happy with most of it except on my head it just looked a little different. So I'm just gonna mess around with it a little bit and try to get a more um, pleasing look, so to speak. Which should not be too, too difficult now that I know what the problems are.
that was looking a lot nicer. All right, I guess now it's time to try it on and see if I like it. And if I don't and to fix things, I'll just go back and fix it again. So that's the nice part. It's the trial and error point of this wig's styling. Because it might be, might be done now. We'll see. All right, so that is the wig on my head finally on and I'm actually really happy with how it's looking right now. Um, the bang cutting was definitely a good idea because Harko does actually have creative defined bangs. Yeah, overall I would say this turned out quite decent. I'm pretty pleased with it compared to the, how it looked like when I first took it out of the bag. It looks a lot better compared to my old one because, well, it was very yellow. The styling I think I did like, a better job on as well this time. Yeah, so that's Haruka's wig and how I styled it. Took me a good part of the day to finish, but overall, even though I felt a little defeated for a second when it didn't look as good when I first tried it on, I am pleased that I didn't just put it aside and decide not to. I kept going and honestly what I ended up with is a much better Haruka wig, so yeah, that's, that's it, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm glad you've watched the end at this point. I hope it wasn't too terribly unexciting for you. I'm hoping to have other videos in the future, so if you have any suggestions, please put them down below in the comments. I would love to see what you guys have in mind. Thank you guys!